Rock! What's up, everybody? Happy St. Patrick's Day. My, my happiness of St. Patrick's Day is put on hold for a few hours because I have school this morning. So I got to go and weld some shit up for uh, about the next th four hours. So it kind of sucks to be me. Although I guess that'll, well, normally I would say preventing me from, you know, stopping someone from being drunk before noon is probably a good thing. But uh, it's St. Patrick's Day. I'm supposed to be drunk before 11 a.m. Whatever, though. That is all right. I gotta remember on my way home. Whoa! Green light. I gotta remember on my way home to stop. There's a there's a killer cupcake place. Actually, I didn't want to go this way. There's. Can I turn around? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. There's a killer cupcake place by my house that makes Irish car bomb cupcakes. They should be pretty amazing. I'll be picking them up on my way home from school. I'll be picking them up on the motorcycle, so uh, hope they pack them well. I know they put them in a little box. I'm taking a different way to school this morning because I left earlier. How much earlier did I leave? Come on, phone, you piece of shit. Oh, I left about 10 minutes earlier. Okay, I should be good. Um, so a bunch of people said, oh, your bike idle's really high. And one guy said, oh, you know, where did you get your carb? And I'm not sure what he was, at, what he was, why he was asking that. If he was, I mean, you're probably watching this. I'm not sure if he was asking that, like, Man, your bike idle's high, where did you get your carb? Because they didn't set it up right. And I want to make it clear that it has nothing to do with where I got my carb or how it was set up, because it was set up correctly. Um, when I first got this carb, the bike ran perfect for months, months. It, it ran, like I would just bump the starter button and it would fire right up. I just wanna make sure I'm still recording. Um, I would just bump the starter button and it would start and idle and I would, uh, it would I would run it on the choke for about eight, you know, eight, nine seconds and kick it off the choke and it would just sit there and idle perfect down low where it's supposed to idle and everything. Um, then I ran it out of gas a few times, got some shit in the jets to where it wouldn't run at all, took it apart, cleaned it, it ran a lot better. Um, but then I got some more shit in the jets, and then I did the cams, and now it's, it, it's all fucked up now. And according to everything I've read, I shouldn't have to re-jet for these cams. Uh, they're just hot cam stage ones. But, I don't know, I think I might need a bigger pilot jet, because, although, see, my pilot jet, I think is, I think it's the pilot jet circuit, I don't think it's the pilot jet. say that because I took the pilot jet out like a week and a half ago and I ran a couple strands of copper through it to just make sure it's completely cleaned out and I could see through the hole and see if the hole was round um, so I'm pretty confident there is nothing in that pilot jet <clears throat> that doesn't mean that there's nothing in the pilot jet circuit though and of course, when I had the car out, I didn't take the time to completely, look at this. I'm already going three miles an hour above the school speed limit. And this asshole's gonna pass me. Oh no, he slowed down. Um, you know, so I, 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 I think that's the problem. It could also be that when I did the cams at my, I, I, so I watched Fragmaster Carl's video about how to set your cam timing and my cams would not line up the exact way. Um, you could go one tooth in either direction and have it be just as close. So my cams might be one tooth off. 
which could cause some running problems. Generally, one tooth won't cause running problems as much as it'll mess with the power band. Because um, it's just like you change your cam timing ever so slightly. Although an, an entire tooth is changing your cam timing pretty big, but it still it shouldn't be it shouldn't cause it to run run that badly. I don't think, at least not in my experience with cars that have adjustable cam timing. Um, <clears throat> but I think my valves might be. I might have a tight valve or multiple tight valves, or like all my valves might be tight. Which, again, you're not supposed to have to mess with the valves with these cams. They're supposed to be direct drop-ins, but I'm not sure I'm buying that. I'm pretty sure my cam that my uh, valve clearance is off. What is fucking banging around under my helmet? I think it's the I think it's the drawstring for my uh, my hoodie. It was a little colder this morning, so I I, I didn't feel like putting the liner in this coat. So I put my super retards hoodie on underneath my uh, jacket with the windproof liner. It's a bit chilly. My chin is freezing. I didn't put my bob, uh, not my bob, bob, my neck warmer thing on. But that's okay because my core is pretty warm. It's a little chilly, but it's not too bad. Oh, uh, something else I wanted to address. Uh, of my last video, I had mentioned this 90 degree audio adapter for the GoPro microphone for the Hero 3. And I had a couple people be like, oh, you know, it's not going to work. Accidental Broadcast tried it and it didn't work. Which is kind of. I don't really necessarily get that logic because there is more than one adapter on the market and just because one person couldn't make it work doesn't mean that somebody else won't be able to make it work but that guy whatever that was that was fine he was just trying to give me a heads up however i did get private messages over youtube and even on facebook basically saying actually no the one app came straight out and said it that I'm a fucking idiot, and that who do I think I am? If accidental broadcast couldn't make it work, what makes me think I'd be able to make it work? Like fucking accidental broadcast is an electrical engineer, well maybe he is an electrical engineer, I don't know what the dude does, but like accidental broadcast is the fucking god of everything, and you know, if, if he couldn't make it work, there's no possibility anybody else could. And that is the most fucking stupid logic I've ever heard in my life. Now, like I said, no offense to the dude that just like said it in my thread. I mean, in my video, that was fine. He was just like, hey, AB couldn't make it work. And he, that was just like a heads up. But to the people that messaged me and either insinuated or the dude that straight up said that I was an idiot for thinking that I could make something work that accidental broadcast couldn't, um, well, you're fucking listening to me talking through it, and I didn't do anything except plug it in. So obviously, it works, you're wrong, suck my dick. <laughs> anyway, and, and before anybody gets all in a fucking, they, you know, I'm sure that somebody is gonna butt rage and fucking message accidental broadcast and say I'm talking shit, and I'm not. I'm saying that the logic that well, uh, accidental broadcast couldn't make it work, so why would a fucking idiot like you be able to make it work? That, the, that person that literally called me a fucking idiot, and the couple people that private messaged me and insinuated that I'm a fucking idiot, they can suck my dick. So before anybody gets in a fucking butt rage and is like, oh, you're talking shit about accidental broadcast, I'm not. I'm just saying that you know, just because he couldn't make it work doesn't mean that somebody else couldn't. Anyway, man. What the fuck? Seriously with this shit? I gotta beat this train, so I'm just gonna run this light. Um, so yeah, it works. Now, you might be wondering, why does it work? Back on the more, a little more pleasant trees here. Pleasant trees. What's up with that pleasant tree? That tree's so pleasant. Oh, this is so nice. That's a nice tree. Um, 
why does this one work? Well, okay, so some of you, if you follow Armenian, you may have seen that he posted on my timeline a uh, picture that he bought the same adapter. Well, he bought a 90 degree adapter that outwardly looked identical. Uh, he bought the one on Amazon that's like $3.83 and it comes from China. I bought the one on Amazon that's $9.99 and comes from the United States. Outwardly, they look identical. But the difference is that the cheap one, like what he got, and I'm betting the one that AB got, they don't have the little diode that has the resistance to, son of a bitch, I'm gonna get, oh, it's a passenger train, okay, that one should be short. Um, actually, I don't know if that, I don't remember if that train gets in my way for going where I'm going. I don't think it does. Oh, well, okay, I'm cool. Um, it doesn't have the right resistance to kick the internal mic off and turn the external mic on on the Hero 3. Whereas mine, if you take the end apart and you look in it, mine has a little tiny circuit board with a res resistor on it. Uh, which I was like, okay, well that bodes well. And sure enough, I plugged it in and it worked, and Armenian was like, well, I thought mine worked too, and it turned out to be the internal mic. He's like, you know, isolate the camera, or put it on a helmet, and get back to me, tell me if it works. So I did, and it works. So, uh, Armenian, here it is, it works. Um, if you need a link, let me know. I will post the link or email you a link or whatever. And this goes for everybody. If you have a Hero 3 and you want it on the right side of your helmet and you don't want to use nine extension arms, I know which adapter you need to buy. And it's just plug it right in and it works. Um, it's, it's the one on Amazon. It's $9.99 and comes from the United States. It's prime eligible, blah, blah, blah. I think I better switch over to reserve. My bike's starting to kind of sputter a little bit, and I have been riding it like a deke, so my mile per gallon has suffered some. Anyway, so, oh, you might also notice, if you look down here on my handlebars, there is a Hero 2 on my handlebars. Um, so now I have two cameras, so hi. Um, that's going to give you, I, I don't know if that's going to be the final location for that camera, but the idea is that you get two views. I'm going to do picture in picture. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to sync the audio yet, because it's you can't really turn them both on at the same time, at least not in a way that I figured out how. I guess, I, I think I'm going to try to pause the video on a, some kind of background that I can see on both cameras and just sink it as close as I can. Actually, I can do it right here. I'll just be like, hi, when I point and wave, like right now, and just sink it up like that. Anyway, so I'm, uh, I'm off on my way to school. It's St. Patrick's Day. I doubt I'll have this video up today, so happy belated St. Patrick's Day to all, everybody out there. Hope you had a good time. Hope nobody got too drunk and got themselves into some shit. Um, Hopefully, if you did get too drunk and got yourself into shit, it, it's, the story outweighs the trouble. It makes it worth it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. All right, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.